Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry every time I start filming there's noise in the background, but if you've been here for any length of time, you know that that is pretty regular over here. So I hope you don't mind if you're new here. Welcome. Um, uh, it's been a bit of a hectic evening so far. Broken glass. We've had broken glass and so I was trying to do like cleaning, clean up and setting up for today's video, which is super exciting by the way. Initially, I was only going to be doing um, a fall tablescape for you, but because we had a loss in the family, my husband is going to be away, and so I decided to incorporate the grazing. Jude, are you okay in there? Sorry about that. He doesn't want to wear socks, yeah. We're trying to make sure there's no glass left, so they, they need to wear socks. It's a whole situation, but the night must go on, like I said, because my husband's going to be leaving to attend the funeral. I can't give you too many, many details just for the sake of privacy for the family. I don't want to be disrespectful and just give you, you know, put all the information out on the internet. But yeah, um, so usually we do this charcuterie or grazing board the night before I start filming. No, the night before I start decorating for Christmas, rather. But this time around, we're going to do it earlier. As I'm setting up, I'm going to be getting the food ready for the kids as well because they're super hungry too. So let me not waste too much time. So what I'm going to be doing this year, you know, this time around, I'm going to keep it super simple. I'm not going to be doing too much with the tablescape itself. But I think the board, like the food and just the atmosphere itself, just the cozy atmosphere that I'm trying to accomplish or create is going to basically make this table. And so it's going to be very, very simple for you to um, be able to put together or achieve. And so without further ado, let's get started. First and foremost, I'm just going to lay some chargers or rather let me do the, the placemats. I'm not going to be working with any um, Okay, let me wait. Let me wait for them to leave okay. the apartment <laughs> first because we, we we could be here all night. <laughs> yeah. So as I was saying, so sorry about that. Life can be chaotic sometimes. This is our normal life. This is what happens behind the scenes a lot of the time. So I hope you understand. But anyway, to begin with, I'm just going to be using placemats. I'm not going to bother with a tablecloth this time around or anything too extreme. I probably would have done so if I had something darker, but I don't. All my tablecloths are super light. So I'm just going to work with the placemats and let the table do the talking because it's pretty dark. It's black, really. So placemats, placemats are going down. Okay, you can't really see from there, but just laying down these placemats and I'm going to bring these two over here. Got one right here. Wait, are these placemats from China or Japan? And another one here. Okay. Now I got these, my daughter is asking where I got these placemats from. I actually got these placemats from, um, what store was that? It was like, uh, I can't remember, was it Papaya? It's one of those like, Department stores like Forever 20, it's one of those stores like Forever 21 rather, not department stores. And then because I only have two of these chargers, I'm going to do what I usually do is I'll kind of do like a diagonal. Is this diagonal? <laughs> I'm trying to remember my math terms. So like I'm going to put this one diagonally, diagonally from the other side. Let me know if I'm not using that word correctly because I might be completely wrong, didn't even know it. And so that's fine if only two of them have them because I'm just trying to keep things interesting and simple at the same time. So let's see, I want you to be able to see that. 
And I'm going to add these plates. These are actually old plates that I've had these since Shane and I got married. I think these were like my first, very first dinner plates. I got a whole set from Walmart and it was like on sale for 10 bucks because there was only like one set left or something like that. So very affordable. And I like the fact that it has this greenish color. So it has this moss green and the brown lining and then it also kind of has that floral design on it so this can work for the fall you know like fall christmas time i think this will this will work really well and then next on top of these i think i'll do the same thing because okay so next i have these plates which are going to go on top of these so I'm going to put these two on top of the plates that have the green charger on them because I think that's going to layer them really well. And then instead of using the same ones, because actually two of them broke, so I'm going to be using these beautiful thrifted uh, plates that I got from, this is not a sauce, it's a plate. I thrifted these a couple of weeks ago and it has, it actually has a marking on the back. I was trying to read it. And it says, it's P-F-A-L-T-Z graph. <laughs> so I don't know if it's false graph, the P might be silent. And where are these made? Is this specific? It's hard to read because it's like a signature. But these are so beautiful and look, there's even like a little B on there, engraved on there, which is super cool. Look, they're so well designed. They have the flower pot on there and just look at how they glisten. So these would be perfect for Christmas as well. I might end up using the, uh, these. I've only got two of these. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on top, like so. And then on top of it, I'm going to put this bowl from the same designer. I think it's just so, so beautiful. And it has a dragonfly. So beautiful. I'm pretty sure these are super expensive if you like find them online. I haven't done my research. I don't know why I usually forget to do that. But these two will have like the bowl because I want to keep things eclectic. And then the other ones will just have the plates. The other two will just have the plates on them. So I think that's going to look really, really pretty. I love it. I actually love it already. And then on top of it, I should, I'm wondering which ones I should have used. Anyway, on top I have this napkin. These napkins were thrifted as well. I love the embroidery on them. I think they're handmade. And because they're pretty light, I usually like use two of them. So just like so. I use two of them and I'm going to basically use this emerald green it's like a really deep emerald green you can't really tell until like unless you're up close it's really really beautiful thrifted this napkin ring as well so just like so keep it super simple i'd like the embroidery to show and i'll let it sit up like so i'm going to let it sit up in the bowl there's a little fiber on there that's throwing me off <laughs> We do not want fibers in our food. So just let it sit up. I think that's that looks pretty. And that's it. I'm going to just basically just repeat the same thing on the rest of the plates. And then I'm going to show you my glassware. Oh, they're so cute. They look like little birds. And then for the cutlery, let me put the cutlery down first. I always use the cut, same cutlery that I use every time, my faithful, tried and true Walmart cutlery. It's very good quality. I love the brassy gold color. I think it's just perfect for um, table settings. So I'm going to put this down quickly, right quick. And then lastly, but not least for the glassware, I have these beautiful flutes that I thrifted. They're pitch black, glossy black flutes, and they are everything. So I know that this might be 
questionable for some of you. You probably like, you've got two kids, two small kids. Why would you let them drink out of these? They, they'll probably not drink out of them, but why not? You know, I thrifted them. Life is just like that. Things are temporary, so if it breaks, I'll be so sad if any of them break because I only have four of them, but I don't want to waste to waste them by not using them. So I'm going to sit these right here. Move this back a little bit. Set these right here. They're so, so glamorous and they just, oh, look, they're pulling out that emerald green out of the napkin ring. They're just, they're gorgeous. And then right next to them, I have this beautiful uh, mar marigold glass. Thrifted this one as well. This is most likely what the kids are going to be drinking out of, but they're super cute as well. No, they're just super fabulous. So I'm thinking just have them together because I'm going to have candle light, the candles lit, and I don't want to end up, you know, making, causing this space to be like a hazard. So I'll just put those two together, but I think it looks so simple, but so beautiful. That's what I love about you know, decorating. You can make it as intricate or as simple as you like and it still makes an impact. Like it's not about, now let me put these on this side because ooh, should the kids get a chance to be next to the candles? We do not want any accidents. And you know, they don't even have to be like perfectly, they don't have to perfectly sit on the placemat either because there's no room. It's basically, I want this to feel super organic and I just want it to feel like I wasn't really trying to make it beautiful, but it just worked out that way because, you know, like, like I just have that touch. That's, that's what I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to create for you here. Like, you know, I, I don't try too hard. I, I kind of just, you know, get creative with it and it works out. <laughs> Okay, the table is looking great. And now it's time for me to start setting up the grazing board. And then finally, I'm going to show you the pièce de résistance, which you can see already, it's the candlelight. Once I've lit these candles and I turn the lights out, it's going to be so magical in here, so cozy. I can't wait for you to see that. So let me get started as quickly as possible because we're all hungry. It's actually getting a little bit late and we haven't even started our movie night yet. But I have this beautiful cake stand. I'm just going to put it on this board over here. In the center, I'm going to put something on top and then I'm going to put food underneath as well. And before, just in case I forget to show you some of the utensils that I've got, I've got these beautiful cheese uh, utensils. What do you call them? Cheese cutters and yeah. It's for basically to cut up cheese and whatnot. So I got these on sale from Aldi last year. And so I knew I was going to use them at some point and I'm glad that I got them, very beautiful. Also have this little cute bowl just in case you don't get to see it up close, but you, I'll show you like some B-roll of everything that I'm going to be doing very soon.
beautiful bowl. I don't know if you can see it. Thrifted this two weekends ago. Spectacular. Everything on here is pretty much thrifted, you know? Move. The kids are ready to eat, so let me hurry. But I love this. And this is pop, pop no. Wait a minute, buddy. It's okay. This is possibly the best popcorn out there, so. You don't help me pour the juice. I, I need to good. take some B-roll before they start eating because it's just going to look horrible. Oh, Judah, please, baby, please, please, please. Can you go wait? Look, popcorn. Just go sit, go sit, and then we'll come eat, okay? I need to light the candles first. And then for juice, my regular apple juice and ginger ale. You can never go wrong pouring it in this beautiful thrifted jug. jug. I think this is going to work perfect for the fall. There we go. Hey, first strike. First strike. Nicely done. Perfect. <laughs> you need to light up, please. Thank you. All right. And then with the stick to make life easier. And finally, we are done. And now I'm going to show you how it turned out. It was, it actually was super simple. It was just very involving because it's last minute. So we had to like get all the ingredients and stuff like that. And basically try to get stuff ready. And on top of that stuff broke too in between. So behind the scenes, but I love it. I can't wait to show you what it looks like. It looks so cozy. And I'm sure the kids are going to love the food. We're just going to have a cozy night in and watch movies. And so that is that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and say good night because I know I won't get a chance to talk to you afterwards. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so and please give this video a thumbs up because it's going to help my channel out. And I hope to see you all in the next one. God bless, bye. for your love and mercy towards us. Yeah. Yes, that you would bless this food that we partake, Lord, and bless this time that we spend together. Mm -hmm. We just thank you, Lord God, for your goodness and your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.